The thing that I'm excited about with programmatic is kind of really basic, which is if you can target right person, right time, right message, it's the message bit that I don't necessarily agree is right yet. But right time, right place, right format, right message. Now the message bit. So where I think it's going to develop is the ability for programmatic to enable better creativity. Because at the end of the day, if I'm a creative and I pre-can a bunch of creative and it doesn't work, well then you've got to try and change it mid-flight. Okay, get that. But if I have the ability for somebody who's literally engaging in a creative and it doesn't actually engage, then what if I'm able to do that dynamically? And that's where I think the new creatives can actually go and programmatic allows it to happen. And it also enables this part of it. I don't have to sit in front of a spreadsheet to see if my stuff is performing well. I can actually sit back and think, okay, programmatic's gonna self-heal that, and that's amazing. How do I get on with doing other stuff that's highly engaging for consumers? So programmatic's an enabled better creative. I also think the platform for programmatic has to become more creative, otherwise it's going to be you know, just about sort of efficiency and ad buying. And that's pretty unsexy, but where it becomes really interesting in my mind is that what does it do, what does it do to the creative community? What does it do to their tool set that allows them to extend their thinking because they don't have to necessarily worry about that, but it means I can go and focus on the good stuff that get, does higher engagements and all that sort of stuff and the element of creativity connecting with people. Typically, there's lots of commentary around what's going on around AI. I mean, let's be real. We want to be, as marketers, market to real people. And if artificial intelligence is a gatekeeper to us doing that, then it's not a great solution, man. What we're doing is inflating the marketplace, and we don't need that. What we need to do is make sure if we've got these great intelligent creative systems connecting with real humans at the end of it, that's awesome. If it's a problem, then we need to bloody fix it. And I think there'll be pushback in the industry against that, I guess. I don't see any solutions though, mate. I don't know. It's, again, it's, it's not quite my flywheel, but yeah. it's just one we're watching because privacy and trust is really, really important to consumers and I'm kind of want to defend the consumer.